back to the channel, everybody. I know you guys have all been asking this question. Where is Langley Jackson? And last episode, I said that he would be here today. And here he is. Lo and behold. Lo and behold, he does exist. We're going to do some work today on the bus on the bunkhouse. The never-ending bunkhouse. What are we doing today, Langley? Well, we're going to install some plywood. We're going to install some angles. We're going to make it nice and safe for everybody so when they pop in there, they can just... Even for those big bass players. <laughs> Especially for the big bass players. Yeah. They might have to take the bottom bunk. I hear some of those bass players like to sleep with their bass, so that's some added weight. Um, bass players are weird, so... Well, the one thing, if, you, if I would have been working on this more, you would have seen a lot more ladders being used. Yeah, I'm here. Let's let, let's let's do this here, so we look a little more. There we are. Right? You can't tell because he's always up on the stage, and uh, when he's rocking his guitar, he's ten feet tall. But uh, Langley, in stature, is uh, a small man, but he has a big heart. He's tall. He's about yay tall. Yeah, I'm all heart. And he's all heart. So we're gonna put that heart to work today in the bunkhouse. Let's let me show you what we're gonna do. Um, if you were watching last episode. You might have an idea. Uh, we put in these angle brackets supplied by metal supermarkets in West, in Kelowna, uh, North, North End of Kelowna. Um, so we, we installed these. They're working great to hold the bunks. Um, I forgot to order four pieces. Um, that was my fault, but Langley was kind enough to pick them up and deliver them. And now he's gonna cut them and drill them and paint them and install them. Right? I did it last time. It's only fair. <laughs> so we're going to put them in uh, this side here. And then I've also got the plywood. And we're going to cut all the plywood beds. Let's get after it. Let's do this. Take a cooler full of cold beer. Add a little dirt road, mix in a little mixtape, pick up a little homegrown, honey in the front seat, way out, with the crickets and the fireflies, lay down up on the hood, and watch our little dipper shine, over them pine trees, it's a redneck recipe, for girls like you, and guys like me, about as easy as one, two, three, if you're anything like us, you get to two-stepping in some Dixieland delight, sideways on a small town Saturday night, take a ride on a long neck buzz and let it do, let it do what it does, it's a pinch of that winter green, splash a dash of that gasoline, keep the fire burning nice and me. Langley, how's it going? What are you up to here? Yeah, guitar player extraordinaire and also uh, knows how to drill. <laughs> Perfect. And while he's doing that, I'm working on the bed runners, which are. Uh, the solid oak pieces that are going to be the face of the bed. Now I've got this one kind of mocked in here. What, what I've done is I've notched out uh, this wall so that this, this bed runner can, can fit on the wall. Uh, now I dadoed, I don't know if you can see that, but I dadoed a hole right here, a groove for the plywood to sit into. And that's going to make this bed extremely solid. Right? So, no worries about bass players sleeping on the top bunk. It's going to be solid and sturdy. And now all I've got to do is make, you know, four more of these. Three, three more for this side and then another four for that side. Um, what I'm going to do right now, this is just unfinished. I'm going to uh, round off this top edge. And I'm going to put a, a 45 chamfer on the bottom edge. So we don't want anybody to knock their heads on here and start bleeding all over the tour bus because you know we're spending a lot of time and effort on this tour bus. We don't want blood all over it. 
also we don't want to hurt people. Um, so we're going to make this very safe, you know, when you're getting in and out, and uh, also when you're grabbing onto here. Everything's going to be nice and round, and then we're going to sand it down nice and fine. We're going to stain it a really dark, uh, almost a black. It's going to make the grain and this oak just pop, and then we'll uh, put a varathane or a polyurethane coat on it, and we're going to have a really sweet little bark house. And then, let's see if I can show you with this piece. Once we have all of our bed rails running in here, we're going to use another piece of the same stuff, and we're going to put a cap on it on the front all the way up. And that's going to finish this off really nice. Once we're up here, we'll put another smaller piece running across the top just for aesthetics so that it ties the whole look together. And this bunkhouse is going to be sweet. I can't wait. Anyways, let's carry on working. I got Langley here all day, so I'm going to make sure that he uh, puts in a full day's work. <laughs> so, Langley got those four pieces all painted up, and we are going to install them over here in the bunkhouse. And also, we've got these pieces cut and fit. Shaping up. So we'll uh, we'll shoot a little bit of uh, us installing this, and then that'll be the end of it. And uh, so this is us signing off. There you have it. Another episode. Thanks for joining along, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Like